Hello and welcome. This video will show you how to use the free calculator option on iftaboss.com. Once on the site, either click on IFTA Calculators Online or use the online calculator now if you are on the main homepage. Before you begin on the free calculator, you're going to want to make sure that you have all of your fuel receipts and your mileage for the quarter because once you leave the browser and close it, it does not save your work. On the premium calculators, you can come back at any time and add or edit your return. Click on Use the Free Calculator Now to begin. Type in the name of your trucking company and hit Enter. It will automatically switch to the Add Miles tab. Now your mileage may be written on scraps of paper, it may be on a GPS tracking unit report, or maybe you've got a spreadsheet started, like I do here, using Microsoft Excel or the free Open Office program. However you've got your miles, please make sure that you can refer to them as you enter into our website. I'm going to make a few entries now. Remember that you're going to use accounting style rounding. So Arkansas 499.7 miles is going to round up to 500. Back on the website, we click Add Miles, Arkansas, 500. You can either click the Save button or simply hit your Enter key on your keyboard. Our next entry is in Arizona. 1900.2 is going to round down to 1900. Add miles, Arizona, 1900. Enter. Our third entry, California, 2000.1 will round down to 2000. Add miles, California, 2000. Enter. And I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do Virginia because that's a surcharge state. 47.5 will round up to 48. Add miles. Virginia. 48. Enter. Also on my spreadsheet, I created a column for fuel gallons. I, I put some other columns in here, such as the date. Uh, dispatch numbers for this trip. I know that it's on truck number three, but really what we're concerned with here is the uh, miles and also the fuel. So we're going to go to Arkansas, 250 gallons. Add fuel. Fuel purchase. Arkansas. And what did I say that was? 250. The next one is Arizona, 350. Notice that as we make each entry, in real time the calculations are being totaled at the top right, telling us that currently we owe $43.81. Next entry, California is 300 gallons and we didn't purchase any fuel in Virginia. So we're going to stop here at California, 300 gallons. We currently owe $19.95. You would continue to put in all of the mileage and all of the fuel purchases for your entire quarter. You could either combine all of the trucks in a fleet if you're doing a multi-truck return or perhaps you have just one truck and you're just doing that one. Continue to put in all of the miles and all of the gallons until they're all in and then scroll to the bottom and click Final Report. The Final Report is going to show you the same column headings that you will need to enter into your state's tax return that was mailed to you if you're filing on paper or into your state's website if you file electronically. Remember that on the free calculator, 
if you do make an error on one of your entries in mileage or diesel, you cannot edit that entry like you can on the premium member calculators, but you can remove that entry and re-put it in again. Here's a couple of quick pro tips for you. Most drivers know approximately and sometimes exactly how many miles per gallon that their truck gets. When you think that you have finished all of your miles and all of your gallons for the quarter, check this MPG number. You're going to need to enter it on your state's form, but in addition, does it make sense? 4.94 in this case is not correct. I know that I'm missing some miles somewhere. I get better mileage than that. So when I find the missing mileage number, let's say it's Connecticut in this case, and we'll say it's 1,500 more miles that I forgot to put in. This number now makes much better sense, 6.61 MPG. So do take a look at that MPG number. In addition, if you're on one of the members' accounts, including the five-day pass, and you are using the spreadsheet, such as I am, you can import this entire spreadsheet with just a couple of clicks instead of putting the entries in manually. For instance, in the premium account, click Upload, choose the format for Copilot, 2016, third quarter in this case, truck number one, we'll just call this trip third quarter. Select your spreadsheet on your hard drive, this one in my case, and click Upload. Upload completed. Go back to my returns. There's my third quarter 2016 return. We can go view it. There's our total. And there are all of the entries of all our miles and all our gallons. You can now click Final Report. Scroll to the bottom and either print it or email it. Thank you very much.